Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Mel, Regional Sales Manager for Gallagher Fluid Seals, and welcome to the fifth installment of our Surface Finish webinar series. In this segment, we will be discussing amplitude parameters, and we'll discuss RP, RV, RZI, RZ1 Max, RZ, RT, RQ, RA, and the advantages and disadvantages of RA. In our previous webinar, we discussed filtering and creating separate waviness and roughness profiles. Once we have isolated the roughness profile, we can then catalog the data into multiple equal sampling lengths to start characterizing the surface with various amplitude parameters. To start, we have RP and RV. RP is known as the maximum profile peak height, which is defined on the sampling length and is the height of the highest peak from the mean line. RV is known as the maximum profile valley depth, which is defined on the sampling length and is the depth of the deepest valley from the mean line. The next parameter is RZI, or single roughness depth, which is the distance between the maximum peak height and the maximum valley depth within a single sampling length. The below image shows the five different RZI values for each of the five consecutive sampling lengths. Now, let's move on to RZ1 max and RZ. RZ1 max, or maximum roughness depth, is the largest of the RZI values within the evaluation length. RZ1 max differs from RT in that the maximum profile peak and maximum valley depth occur within the same sampling length. In the below profile trace, RZ1 max occurs in the first sampling length. RZ, or mean roughness depth, is the arithmetic average value of the multiple RZI values that are found in the consecutive sampling lengths that encompass the evaluation length. The below illustration depicts the proper calculation for defining RZ. RZ is more sensitive than RA to changes in surface finish, as maximum profile heights, not averages, are being analyzed. Therefore, extreme outliers have a greater impact on the final RZ value. RZ1 max and RZ can be used together to monitor the variations of surface finish in a manufacturing process. Similar values of RZ1 max and RZ indicate a consistent surface finish. Next, we have RT, which is known as the total height of the profile. RT is the absolute vertical distance between the highest peak and the deepest valley within the entire evaluation length, which is typically five consecutive sampling lengths. One thing to note is that the highest peak height and lowest valley depth can be found in different sampling length segments and combined to produce the final RT value. RT is not only limited in that only one measurement or data point is considered, but it is also influenced by scratches, noise, and surface contamination. Moving on, we have RQ, or RMS, which is the root mean square deviation from the mean line within the sampling length and is the root mean square of RA. While RMS is similar to RA, the calculation is more sensitive to peaks and valleys because the amplitudes are squared, thus magnifying occasional high or low values. The last parameter we will be discussing is RA or arithmetic mean deviation, which is the average of the absolute values of the deviations from the mean line within the sampling length. RA is calculated using an averaging process, which reduces the effect of extreme outliers on the final RA value. 
In the below profile depiction, the shaded rectangular area represents RA and is equal to the hatched area of the peaks and valleys. Also shown in this image is the mean line as well as RQ, which is larger than the RA value. There are both advantages and disadvantages with the RA parameter. Let's begin with the advantages. The first is that RA is the most commonly used parameter to monitor a manufacturing process. Statistically, RA is a very stable and repeatable parameter. RA is a good parameter for when a manufacturing process is under control and the conditions are always the same. For instance, the cutting tool, cutting fluids, speeds, feeds, etc. Lastly, RA is meaningful for random surface roughness machined by tools or processes that do not leave marks on the surface. For example, grinding and polishing. Now, Let's switch gears and discuss the disadvantages, starting with the fact that RA does not imply anything regarding the spatial frequency of the surface irregularities or the shape of the profile. Additionally, RA is not a good discriminator for different types of surfaces, since no distinction is made between peaks and valleys. The RA parameter by itself is insufficient for providing an accurate representation of the actual surface profile. The below illustration demonstrates that distinct manufacturing processes can produce the same RA value while having completely different surface textures. The first profile depicts an ideal surface texture for dynamic applications because the jagged peaks are minimized or removed completely Due to the wide spacing between peaks, the second profile will demonstrate excessive wear characteristics. The third profile will cause severe seal wear based on the extremely sharp profile peaks. To summarize, in this webinar, we defined and discussed several amplitude parameters, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of RA. Please join us for our final surface finish webinar in which we will discuss surface finish recommendations and general considerations for a variety of seals and applications. Take care, be safe, and thank you for your time.